recognizing what is no longer there. Feeling down into the ground through your body, the weight of your body on the floor or on the chair. And imagining your limbs, your buttocks, your thighs, just melting down into that ground beneath you. As though there were no separation between you and the earth. You're fully held. And any holding that you may have from the top of your head all the way down to your seat can just be gently released downward into the ground. You might feel your brow softening, the space between the eyebrows opening up. The temples widening. The jaw softening, relaxing. Becoming slack. And checking your shoulders before you drop them down, just checking whether you could roll them very gently back and then allow them to fall. The weight falling down through your arms and hands, fingertips. Feeling the connection of those fingertips with the air. Maybe giving them a wiggle. To remind them they have so much space to just spread out and be free. And the tension, the weight flows down through your spine. All the organs inside your rib cage and torso soften, relax and settle. Tensions melting away. And if you wish, if it helps you, I'd like to invite you to imagine that you're sitting in a very safe, relaxing, beautiful place. It could be right where you are. But imagine your room much bigger than it really is. It might be a place by the sea. It 
could be a beautiful meditation hall where you frequently go on retreat. Or maybe a forest with dappled sunlight pouring in between the fresh green leaves of the trees. Seated on the mossy ground, connected to the earth. How do you feel in this place? What kind of sounds do you hear? Is it very warm or cool? Is there a gentle breeze? Are there any scents in the air? Any fragrances? So just staying connected to your body with kind awareness, noticing all the different sensations that you experience. And connecting with your heart, if it's comfortable to do so by having some of that awareness hovering around the chest area. Just a light, gentle attention. And I'd like to start by gently Encouraging the mind to put down any resentment with a few phrases of forgiveness. Just offering these to our heart, to our mind, without demand or expectation just as an invitation towards ourselves. If anything I've done through body, speech or mind intentionally or unintentionally that has hurt or harmed others. I seek forgiveness.
if anyone has hurt or harmed me through their acts of body, speech or mind. Knowingly or unknowingly. Intentionally or unintentionally. I offer them my forgiveness. Or I open to the journey of forgiveness. And if there's anything I've done through body, speech or mind that has hurt or harmed myself, I forgive myself for that. And if I find I'm unable to forgive myself or another person, I accept and forgive myself for that as well. And just gently offering yourself loving kindness. Perhaps imagining yourself receiving beautiful golden light of the sun. Or maybe putting a hand on your heart. Offering a few words of loving kindness that resonate for you. However you want to express that metta, that loving kindness towards yourself. Just opening, receiving and basking in that loving kindness. Feeling safe, feeling held, Feeling so grounded and supported by the environment and by the purity of your intention. And if you wish, inviting someone very dear or maybe several good friends just to come and sit beside you, around you and share this beautiful space. Notice who appears, who arises in your mind. 
For me, it's the whole Zoom room. All of you are seated beside me in the forest. And those rays of sunshine fall on all of us. As we share this beautiful space, allowing thoughts and feelings of metta to flow out of our body into the atmosphere. and strengthen as they're shared. You might remember people you've not thought about for a long time. Or maybe people who you've been including in your meta practice. Maybe people you don't really know. But what you do see is that anyone who comes to join you begins to partake of the same metta, the same loving kindness without any distinction. That beautiful gold and sunlight shining on us all. Everyone becoming more and more at ease, more and more relaxed. Knowing that they're held, received and accepted in this vast field of loving kindness. You remain centered, connected to the earth. Connected to your heart. A heart that embraces any emotion that arises. With that same loving kindness, unconditional acceptance, unconditional love.
from time to time, you may wish to specifically connect to a very dear beloved person with whom you feel especially safe, especially at ease. And notice how this recharges the metta, building it up. so that there's more to share. You may find that even people who you find difficult come and sit in this space, perhaps not too close to you, beside you. You have your friend, your teacher, your benefactor. But the power of this shared metta is so strong that you feel safe enough to let even someone you find difficult come and stay just for as long as you wish. Aware that you can always kindly, politely Bid them farewell. And if it's not the right time for you, that's perfectly fine. And soon you start to recognize that not only is the sunshine falling down on you and all your friends, but together you're also generating a beautiful golden light that starts to spread outward. <clears throat> And beyond the room or the forest, 
the ocean or the hills starts to spread in every direction, rising up into the sky where the butterflies dance, the insects buzz around, the birds fly and swoop, all beings above in the sky. Also start to appreciate, start to partake of this beautiful loving kindness. As though in celebration with us. Knowing that they're safe. And our loving kindness also flows through the earth that we're seated upon. To all the little creatures below. To the insects and the worms. To the ants. beings that burrow and live underground, they also start to receive some of this loving kindness. And our loving kindness starts to flow outward and unbounded in every direction. It's as though you can feel it tingling in your chest, tingling in every cell as it seeps outward in front and to the sides, behind you in every direction reaching all beings. Not only those living in your country, but those living overseas. This metta starts to flow and gain momentum and speed. Flowing indiscriminately to all beings, human or non-human. Those with noble intentions. Those who are perpetrating harm. All beings who wish for their happiness. who may be skillful or unskillful in bringing about happiness and peace for themselves and others. May they all be well, safe and happy.
May all beings be free from suffering and live at peace. All beings on the land, all beings in the sea, the oceans, the rivers and the lakes, may all beings share our loving kindness. And may those who hear the Dhamma be benefited be liberated be truly at peace Imagining that for this moment, all fighting, all contention stops and all beings everywhere live in peace, regarding each other with kindly eyes. Imagine how such a world would be. Imagining that's actually happening. Through the power of loving kindness. And now in this wide field of loving kindness, spreading, reaching to the corners of the earth, maybe beyond. I'd like you to bring to mind, if you wish, one person who you feel is really in need of your loving kindness right now. Maybe a dear friend or relative who is sick, who's struggling in some way. Maybe yourself. Maybe someone you've hurt or harmed. Maybe even someone for whom life is going really well.
Bring this person to mind now. And with the combined power of our loving kindness, we're going to zap them with all the metta that we've got. So imagine them right in the center of this field of loving kindness. Being healed, bathed, in beautiful golden light of loving kindness. All their tensions, their struggles, their pain, being soothed, being washed away. Even their skin starts to glow as they bathe in this golden light. Perhaps noticing any physical sensations, vibrations, resonance in your heart. As your heart connects with theirs. Just allowing these vibrations to flow outward. Imbued with loving kindness. When you're ready, gently smiling at this person, perhaps with folded hands or even with a hug, or just a gentle smile, letting them go, letting them fade, knowing that they're carried by this loving kindness wherever they go and allowing the energy to just start seeping back, soaking through your whole body. As so though every cell were infused with love and kindness. Healing your body and mind. So just staying with this sense of embodiment as I chant loving kindness blessing to end this session. Sabe Sata 
Sabepana Sabe Buddha Sabe Buddha La Sabe Atta Bawa Padia Pana Sabayetio Sabe Purisa Sabe Aria Sabe Anavia Sabe Dewa Sabe Manusa Sabe Vini Padika Awe Rahon Tu Abya Paja Hon Tu Ani Gahon Tu Sukiatanam Pariharan Tu Dukha Munjan Tu Yadalada Sampatito Mawe Gachan Tu Kama Saka And if you're ready, you can do the gentle or the fun sadhu. <laughs> sad, sad, sadhu. <laughs>